right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with the Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got no world to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! 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 was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Blocking the runway! 
Borders closed. That's them. Assholes. Their career's coming down with that plane. Let's get it over with.